Hello, this is John Martin of AdGroupGenerator.com and welcome to this tutorial screencast explaining, in some respects, the exciting and business end of the whole process. If we just briefly recap on the previous videos, we've shown you how to do your keyword research, to use that keyword research to enter information into the AdGroupGenerator.com utility, to process the information, I and mean, what we've done now is created a text file. And this is the video we're going to actually take that text file and import it into AdWords Editor. And then once it's imported, there's a few tweaks that we need to do in terms of um, amending the campaign details, entering the ads, activating the campaign, and then we can upload that, what we've all done, post it back up to your internet account so it's actually live on the internet. I don't know about you, I'm pretty excited, so let's get started. So, as a recap, on the screen now, you've got the um, text file that I created, and this contains all the information that the uh, ad group generator tool uh, created for my list of keywords. Uh, again, at the top are the list of the fields that we're going to use within Ad Group Editor to import the data, and below that we've got all the data that was extracted from the tool online. This is uh, AdWords Editor, and what we're going to do is import that. I mean, at the moment you can see I haven't even got the campaign created, it's going to be a brand new campaign from scratch. So I'm going to go File, Import CSV, and then I'm going to get a list. Now, by default it's looking for the equivalent of a text file but instead of .txt it's a .csv uh, because I've created a text file in WordPad I've actually got a .txt so I'm going to select all files which changes this slightly, we're going to move over and we've got this pottery1.txt which was the text file you just saw so I'm going to open that and here you can see it's already picked up that very first line in the text file because it's identified campaign, ad group, keyword and keyword type and beneath that it's got all the data so it's a very simple, click the import button it says import is complete, review imported changes. So now you can see on the list of campaigns within my account I've got highlighted in green Pottery 1 and within that if I click on the plus sign again there's a lot of green on the screen, these are all the ad groups that have been created for that campaign. You'll notice here um, it says review pros, proposed changes to your account and there's some colour coding. Um, uh, the green basically says they're not active changes that I've made, they're just proposed changes. Obviously I want to them, you can either select to keep them or reject them, I'm going to keep them. So all of that green has now gone. And what we're left with is uh, a number of sort of amber and red if you like, alarm signals. And that's there to say that there's something not quite right with the data that's entered, which is really what I was expecting. So making sure we've selected, in this case, Pottery 1, I'm going to click on the campaign tag and then click on Pottery 1 here. Okay, in this sort of warning area it tells me the error that I've actually got and it says your campaign daily budget is invalid. That's not particularly surprising because I haven't actually set one up. I've just imported the, the, uh, the data from the tool. So I'm just going to set a daily budget. I'm actually going to make a few other changes here as well. I'm going to turn the content network off. So I'm just looking at the search network. So, that so my description in my campaign list is a bit different and a bit more explanatory. I'm going to have search there. The other thing I'm going to do for now is just set the status to paused just in case I happen to inadvertently upload this data before I've finished at least once it goes to the internet it then wouldn't be active. Okay so you notice that by doing all that the tab for campaigns no longer has the little red exclamation mark. The next one that does have an exclamation mark is the ad groups and it gives you a number of reasons here it says the, the red ones which are basically errors and obviously this won't work if you happen to post this to your online account and warnings which are just sort of advisories really. So here it's saying uh, your ad group contains keywords but there's no maximum bids or for the, for the various uh, options that you have within AdWords. So let's do something about that. The quick way of doing that is to make sure that uh, in this left hand bar I've got Pottery 1 Search selected and I'm in the ad groups tab here. I go to edit, select all and all of the ad groups will now be selected here which means I can then come into this box at the bottom and make universal changes to all of the ad groups at once. So I just put 25 cents in there. And again now the red exclamation warning has gone. Now I've just got an amber warning which says your ad group contains no active ads. Again that's not a surprise, we're going to add the ads in a minute. The other tab which has um, some warnings is keywords, so if we take a look there. Again it displays a summary of the errors. And this, is, this particular error is a, a, an annoying one within AdWords Editor because it basically says the keyword that you've got is duplicated elsewhere but it's got a different match type. And obviously that's exactly what we do want. Uh, for example, Adam's Pottery, uh, the keyword, also the ad group, 
we've got broad throws and exact match, so there is duplication in that sense. So often this one is, a, as I say, a really annoying warning message, but you just learn to live with it. OK, let's fix the final warning that we need, which is to add some ads to all of the ad groups. Now what I'm going to uh, show you now is almost a little bit counterintuitive, because I'm actually going to add a new ad group within the campaign. So again, I'll make sure I've got Pottery 1 selected there, Add Groups tab, and I'm going to add an ad group. So here it just shows ad group number 201. 200 were added automatically through the import, so this is number 201. And I'm going to select that there, and I'm going to go to Ads. I'm going to add a text ad. This is very similar to the online tool, so I'm going to enter just some sort of relevant data at the moment just to be descriptive for this video, but obviously you would go through and uh, carefully construct your own ads so that they're as uh, productive as possible to start with. So that's one ad. I'm going to add a second ad. Okay, and the reason we have two ads is so that uh, once they're live on the internet, uh, you rotate between them, so you do a split test to actually find which one is producing more uh, better results than uh, the, the other one. Okay, so we've successfully added two ads. Now I'm going to select both of these, so if I click on the first one, hold the shift key, click on the second, it highlights both of them. If I right click, I can then copy. So uh, both of all of that information has been stored in the clipboard on your PC. And the next step is to update all of the other ad groups with those two generic sort of base ads so that you're then ready to get started. So let's do that now. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the left-hand panel and select the, cam select the campaign, property search. Uh, I've got ads displayed in the tab, and this time I'm going to make multiple changes, and I'm going to select add, update, multiple text ads. This multiple text ad window display appears on the screen, and you'll notice it says step one of two. Before I forget, I'm going to go to the main box, click in there, right-click and paste. And this um, copies what I've just um, taken, they're the two ads that I've entered for that one ad group. And what I want to do is actually use this information to update all of the ad groups, not just this one. So I'm going to make sure that destination, I've selected the campaign I want, and on the ad group pick list, I'm going to go down and right at the bottom, it doesn't show on the screen, there's uh, something called all ad groups, which is what shows on, okay, so on campaign, pottery, ad group, all. And what you then do is click on next, and as you can see on the screen, it's added 400 new text ads, which is basically 200 ad groups, each with two ads, so that's 400. So that's that job done. Click Finish. And now if you go on the left-hand panel and select any of the ad groups, on the Ads tab you'll notice that all that information has been added. What we don't want now is this sort of dummy ad group we had created to start with. So if we select the ad group in the left-hand panel, Go to the Add Group tab, it will just appear on its own. We can click on it, right click and delete. It will come up and say, do you really want to delete? Yes we do. So now we're back to the original list. You'll notice that in terms of the tabs that matter, we haven't got any of the warning amber or red signs. As a keywords, we have got the amber because of that annoying uh, error message with uh, AdWords Editor where it doesn't recognise broad phrase and exact match, it just thinks they're a duplicate, um, which is great. So now we are ready to upload all of this campaign information to your online account. Now if you remember there's one final thing to do which was within the campaign tab um, we actually paused it so if we uploaded it as it stands it would be on the internet but it wouldn't be active so what we'll do is just now that we've made all the other changes change that to active and then we can go up here and say post selected campaigns and it will then ask you do you want all campaigns I just want to upload cap campaign pottery search one at the bottom of this it says post and by clicking on that it will actually connect to your online AdWords account and upload all of these changes. And uh, that's effectively the end of the process. Uh, we've uh, done everything now and this is the you know the, the fun bit really which is putting everything into AdWords Editor which is where you really save a lot of time and you also get a high level of granularity and flexibility for uh, future tweaking and optimization of your campaign. Uh, because you've sort of got one keyword for each ad group, so it's very flexible going forward. Great. Thanks for watching, and pop back soon. Don't forget to check us out here at adgroupgenerator.com, the free tool helping you create Google-friendly, keyword-driven ad groups in three easy steps. You get better relevance to improve your quality scores, you slash the time you spend optimizing your campaigns, and it costs you nothing. See you again soon.